Hello, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about artist Paul Signac and his book, um, Paul Signac, A Collection of Watercolors and Drawings. I hope you enjoy um, this brief review of Paul Signac and his watercolors and drawings. Paul Signac was born in Paris on November 11, 1863. He started out in architecture, but at age 18, he decided to pursue a career in painting. He liked sailing through the coasts of Europe and painting landscapes. He became friends with Georgia Surratt and was inspired by his pointillism methods of painting small dots instead of short brush strokes when used with impressionism. This book is filled with many, many colors of watercolor um, paintings that have been done throughout the years. There are a whole lot of examples in this book and it talks about his life in Paris, um, and just all the different paintings that are in this book. So there are so many paintings that Paul Signac has painted. And um, the uh, photos of the paintings are very large and they take up most of the page. So this book will definitely show you a lot of his paintings in larger sizes. So most of his watercolors were done in pencil first and then watercolor was added to it. To me, his paintings look very expressive. They look like you can even feel that you were there um, from looking at his paintings. So this book is definitely a book that has lots of color, lots of um, photos of the paintings inside. Paul Signac was a minimalist painter he preferred to use only the essentials when he went out to paint. He would have a Conti number no. two pencil, a box of watercolors, and a small notebook that would fit into his pocket. He painted from life and his watercolors served as the foundation for his oil paintings. He was once again a minimalist when it came to painting outdoors. He never used an eraser, his drawings, he avoids using straight, precise lines and prefers to use curved lines, which can be described as musical. He would keep his palette very clean to avoid fear of a dirty mixture. He focused his attention on the sea, boats, reflections in water, the harbors, and constantly changing scenes. Paul Signac did not like being weighed down with heavy art equipment, easels, brushes, and all those um, big heavy equipment when he went out to paint. He preferred only to take the minimal essentials, which would include the Conti pencil, the box of watercolors, and the notebook. He didn't even use an easel. He would prefer to stand when painting his watercolors. I'm going to attempt to draw like Paul Signac did. I'm going to use a Create a Color Nero charcoal oil pencil. It's very smooth and this paper that I'm using is a smooth paper so it makes for an easier drawing experience. So Paul Signac, like I said earlier in the video, he liked to use a lot of wavy curvy lines. He avoided using straight precise lines and he was a very expressive drawer. Um, his artwork to me is very expressive and very loosely done. Um, as I look at his paintings and drawings, it looks to me as if he was having a great time drawing. So he wasn't worried about all the precise details. He just wanted to capture what he looked at outside. So if you'd like to try it, just take time to go outside and not exactly copy the scene, but just give your impression of what you're looking at and just have a good time when drawing. So I hope you enjoyed this video of a review of Paul Signac and his watercolors and drawings. 